Who's ready to fly? Yeah! Hello, my name is Jack Curtis, and welcome to Ace RC Foam Fighters. I'm bringing to the table today the yellow jacket, which is my end of the year quad design. We started off with this, and if you haven't seen the video, check it out. Um, and this was the Vespula, and this was the first prototype that we made. And we changed it around so that instead of this plate right here, we now have a two of these instead, so that it can actually close a lot better. So what I'm bringing today is the build video for this. And we're selling two versions. We have the eighth inch wood MDF version and also a carbon fiber version that was brought to us by Protec Composites. And this is, for right now, it's limited edition, but if it catches on, great. We're gonna work with them to try to get it. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so you take it out of the box, and this is what you get. It's got everything included, including the screws. All you need to supply is the glue, if you're using the wood version. Otherwise, if you're using the carbon fiber, the only difference is you don't need this spine right here, and it doesn't have the holes. It's a lot simpler. I'm gonna show you how to build the wood version, and we'll take our screws, and also I already added the Velcro, and it's to whatever your preferences are, whatever equipment you're using. I left this on the bottom so you can see it when it's flying, and this is on the top plate, and it's for the ESCs. They just, the wires go through the hole and they can Velcro right there. And then this is for your KK2 and your battery and also your camera. So, all you need to do is take your screw through there, take your spacer, and spin it on until it's tight, and you do that with all of them. Instead of starting putting this on, it's easier if you start with the arm assembly. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really easy. I did these three, and I'll show you how to do on this one. It's, this is the spine, and you just put some glue down in here, and then you stick it in. And I like to use a, use a scrap to like squeegee it off the bottom. So you just put the glue in like that your spine. It doesn't matter which way the notch goes, it's just your preference. I'm going to do it like this. And then you can take a piece of whatever and squeeze it. So the arm is all done and now we're going to attach it to the assembly up here. Take your plate, any plate, they're the same and just align it with the holes. And take an arm, put it and align this hole all the way through. And then take your top plate and put that on and align it all the way. Now we're gonna take one of the longer set of screws and also a washer, a washer, and stick it all the way through. And we're going to start with the inside, because it's easier. Take a lock nut, tighten that, and then we can do the next one. Now we're going to start on the outer holes, and these are notches, so you can actually slide it. It's the 
same process except we're gonna put a washer on the other side also. So take the same thing like before, only this time we're gonna put a second washer here and then the nut. Are we, are we missing a nut? No, no, sorry. And that's it. And as you can see, it's pretty rigid construction and it slides pretty nice. You're gonna wanna tighten it though, just to make sure it's extra secure. So you can take a hex screwdriver, also a pair of pliers, and tighten it nice. Now that we're done with this, and I've tightened all of these up, you can see it goes in pretty nice. You've just got to work it in a couple times, and after a few rounds, it'll swivel pretty smooth. And look how compact it is. Pretty good. So now all we have to do is I'll just take this out. And we can attach it to this. And I'll do it by hand and I'll tighten it later. So after we've tightened everything down, everything looks good. You've worked in your uh, movement of the arms. That concludes the build. It's pretty sturdy construction. All you need to do now is put your electronics on. Just like I've done with the Vespula, you can take your motor wires and they're intended to go down through this hole. And then you take your ESCs and you Velcro them to the top. You take your receiver, you can put it really wherever. Take your KK2 it's, or whatever flight controller you have. I put mine right about the middle of the motor base, which is just above this hole, straight down. And then your battery goes out the back. So if you want one, go to Altitude Hobbies, pick yourself up one, support the program. That's it. Thanks guys for watching.